growing up, there was either hunting in the fall or fishing in the spring and in the fall, but there was a period in the year where when the fishing wasn't very good, we didn't really know what to do. And so my dad one day picked up an old bow fishing reel and just one of those big spool ones that you put on the end of your bow. And he had an old, just a really old bow. And we had a fishing pond we were at and there was a river behind it. And he said, let's go back there and try it. And I'll never forget, we were like 30 feet up this embankment and we saw a big carp way out in this river. And he took just a impossible shot and smoked this carp. And I was hooked from then on. And bow fishing has been one of my uh, my favorite things to do when the fishing's not that great um, or when you just need kind of an adrenaline rush, it is a lot of fun. So uh, today we're headed out, uh, finally have a day where it's kind of calm and not much wind. And I'm gonna try bow fishing out of the kayak. I got this new kayak that I can stand up in and I got it with the purpose of thinking maybe I could bow fish out of it. So I'm uh, gonna go shoot some big carp, hopefully. Uh, there's lots of carp. Last time I came fishing out to this spot, uh, I saw and heard a lot of carp splashing. So. Carp is one of those things um, that I don't necessarily like to eat them. I do have some friends who like to eat them, so I will bring them some carp for sure. Um, I also use carp meat as bait for my crawdad traps, uh, which you'll see. I I'm hoping to, to get a good batch of crawdads here soon, and uh, my family loves to eat crawdads, so we'll take these carp too and, and do that. Um, carp is one of those things, they're really helpful for some things. Uh, they're helpful for uh, cleaning up some moss and vegetation and things like that. But a lot of these places, they stocked them and then they just get overrun with carp and they actually destroy the habitat. And when they spawn and when they're uh, feeding and stuff, they get up into the banks and they tear up the, the banks. And so uh, that's why this is, a, this is a thing and this is legal. Um, the government wants you to kind of take some of these things out of here. So I'll see you out here. Hopefully we can get on some today and this will be a lot of fun to watch. Kind of cool, this is an old flooded farmland. This is the top of a barn right here. Pretty neat. It's a silo. Oh, yeah, hey there.
Water and kayak. up a little bit on me so I I'm gonna get home and and help get dinner together and get some yard work done but uh, thanks for coming with me just kind of a fun little adventure and I hope to see you in on the next one